there, I'm Roma Waterman, professional vocal coach, and today in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to sing in tune. Does anybody ever say that to you? Do they say you're not hitting the notes or you're not singing in key, and you're saying to yourself, I'm doing my warm-ups, I've learnt resonance, I've learnt posture, I'm learning breathing, but I'm still not hitting the notes? Well, I'm gonna give you three tips today that will help you in, a, in improving that, and you definitely can improve it. So tip number one, is it's not always a singing problem when you can't sing in tune. If you're doing all those things, warming up, breathing, learning to feel your voice in the right places, learning resonance, well then if you're doing all those things and you're still not experiencing good pitch, it can actually be because it's a hearing problem. It doesn't mean you're deaf, it just means that you have to train your ear just as much as you have to train your voice to sing. So how do you train your ear? Well I'm going to give you a couple of exercises today that will help you with this. So for this first exercise, I am going to play two notes. And when I play those two notes, what I want you to do is tune your ear in and only listen for one of those notes. It'll either be the lower one or the higher one. So I'm going to play two notes right now and for this first exercise I want you to sing the lower note. Here we go. You ready? Have a listen again. Try to sing it out. Now it's hard when you're hearing two notes to often get this right and it can take a bit of time. Let's try the higher note of that exercise. Ah, that's it. All right, let's try it on two different notes. Here we go. I want you to sing the higher note. It is now try singing the lower note good let's try one more here we go singing the higher note this time Now, when you start this, you will probably notice that one note you'll be able to hear more distinctly than the other one, and that will just be because of what you're used to listening to, or you may not hear any distinction at all. Don't be discouraged. The more you practice this, the easier it will become. If you don't have a piano at home and you can't play two notes, you're not musical at all, you still can do this. You're just playing two notes that are generally close to each other between five notes apart so you'll play a number one and a number five and if you don't have a piano at home you can also do this on a guitar or you can just download a music app a piano app and play two notes on that piano app so that's tip number one training your ear sometimes it's not just a singing problem it's a hearing problem here's two other tips for you number two is listening to different musical styles now how on earth does that help you sing better well you'll be amazed it's because different musical styles carry different uh, emphasis on sounds timbres frequency so for example rock music You've got the guitar, the bass, and the drums, which are the focal point of rock music. Pop music will tend to be very, um, a lot of synths and keyboards and sequencing and loops. So those different styles, classical music is violins and percussion, brass. So they've got very different frequencies, all those instruments. When you start expanding your musical tastes, it actually changes the way that you hear. So start listening to lots of different musical styles. I actually find that the people that have a lot of trouble with pitch, they don't actually either listen to a lot of music or they're only listening to one type of music. So expanding your musical tastes will help you enormously. And then finally, my third tip is, once you're listening to those different musical styles, I want you to zone in and listen to the different instrumentation in a song. For example, if you're listening to uh, one style of music and it has bass in it, normally what you would do, you'd just be concentrating on the melody line and what the singer 
singer is singing. That's generally how most people listen to music. Well, I want you to try and zone out and listen to what the bass is doing. What's the bass line sound like? Can you sing that bass line? What are the backing vocals doing? Could you sing those backing vocal parts? What are the guitars doing? Zoning in on different instrumentation completely expands the way that you hear and in turn can really improve your pitch. They're really simple tips. Let's go through them again. Number one is it's not just a singing problem. It can also be a hearing problem. So learning to train your ears. And then tip number two is listening to different music genres and number three zoning in on different instrumentation as you're listening to those musical styles I hope that they help you feel free to leave any information or any comments in the comments or in the discussion board if you're in one of my courses watching this look forward to hearing from you and hearing you sing in tune